Hi friends, in this video we shall try and understand what are classes and objects. Now these two concepts form the very foundation of object oriented program which henceforth I would be referring to as hoops. Alright, before we begin I want you to do a small activity. Just look around and make a mental note of the things that you can see. So depending on where you are right now, you can have a variety of things in your vicinity. Like I am in my study room right now, so I can see a chair, table, books, my laptop, you know, so on and so forth. All these things that I can see and touch, these are objects, both in the physical world and in the programming world also. The reason being the very approach of Oops is modeled after the real world. So again, summarizing all the things that I can see and touch are objects. Let's take another example and this time let's make it more specific. Say my laptop. It is from HP. It has Windows OS. It weighs around two kilos. It has an ultra HD screen, you know, so on and so forth, the entire day. So this would be a very apt example for an object. Okay, so everything that has a physical presence is an object. Then what is a class? The class would be the very concept of that object itself. Right, the idea that the object represents. Like in our example, my laptop is the object. It is there physically present in front of me. And the very concept of a laptop, right, the idea that we can have something known as a laptop is the class. Okay. So the class of my laptop would be a laptop, right? And all the specifications that are listed, like its manufacturer, OS version, rate, screen type, etc., would be its properties. Or if you prefer a more programming jargon, we can say it as attributes. Now, the interesting thing to note over here is that classes in itself do not have any values to their attributes, right? And it is when we assign these values to the attributes that we come up with an object. For example, let's say in the case of my laptop, my manufacturer was HP and I had other values for my OS version weight and screen type. And if I just change any one of these attributes, I would end up with a brand new laptop. Like if I just change my manufacturer from HP to Lenovo, I will have a new laptop altogether. So changing the, at the value of attributes of a class gives you different objects. Hence, you can create multiple objects from a single class. And this is also the reason why uh, classes are often referred to as blueprint of an object. Okay. So yeah, that was all for this particular video. Hope I was able to clarify the concepts. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great